your questions really means like we see our former mayor, we feel the presence of our former mayor, so thank you. Let me call now uh, Dimitris Morris of the Nopitas Flame Keepers to present a plot to Mr. Ben Ross Jr. on behalf of the Black Caucus and the NWACP in honor of Ben Ross accomplishments. Well, I was going to put a presentation together, but I thought that this would be just a fitting time to say thank you. You know, thank you to a man who created a great legacy. Thank you to someone for putting a framework together for others, not only the African American community, but the community at large to uh, work from and aspire to. I mean, he's definitely, when I got here in Little Peters, probably about 10, 11 years ago, that was all I heard Holloway and Jones and Augustine and Yolette. And, you know, and I was just proud of this man I didn't even know because I know the efforts that it takes to organize and lead and, and express your opinions in spite of others not agreeing with you and get some movement around that. So I just want to say thank you um, for a man that had the courage, laid the framework, and, and showed the organizational skills needed to move the city, uh, you know, maybe even a nation forward. So. With that said, uh, a great thank you again, and I'd like to present this to the family if they come up. Uh, Mr. Ben Gross, the son, the wife. This is a tribute from Flame Keepers presented to our former mayor after the recognition of Ben Gross, and it's from the NWACP and Flame Keepers as well. So I want you guys to have that because that's what he meant to us. As a, from the black community, we just want to uh, recognize his leadership and, and, and show him guidance to um, things that we should be doing. And also, I don't think Deb Cortez is here, but we held a breakfast, and I, I guess you guys didn't make it, but he also, he's our, su city, he's our supervisor for uh, Santa Clara County, he also presented this um, at the breakfast in honor of the work that he has done here in Santa Clara County. So I am honored to be the, the keeper and the presenter of these things to you all, and I'm just um, just so thankful. I know as a family, it takes a lot of energy to support someone with a big personality and a, and a large, ambitious agenda. So, um, you know, and I, my condolences to you guys, but he's really left a legacy, and I'm so glad you guys have chosen to embrace it. Thank you all for being here. Uh, it's a great honor. It's a great privilege to come home. Both my father and I always considered no people's home. I mean, I grew up here, and literally, I went from kindergarten, you know, all the way through high school. Started kindergarten down at the library now, and went on to Joseph Weller, Thomas Russell, and then Samuel High School. About two years ago, uh, my dad and I were both union officials with the UAW, so we got to be able to go to a lot of different functions together. Okay, like CBTU conventions, employee conventions, democratic. Uh, national conventions and uh, we were in Las Vegas at a convention and uh, for the CBTU and we shared a room sometimes we did sometimes we got adjoining rooms you know sometimes we didn't it just matter you know what was going on but uh, this particular time two years ago in uh, May we shared a room and I started to try to get I wanted to get a sense from him about his life and what was going on and what his plans were for, you know, uh, the end coming soon. I mean, he was 91, so, I mean, it was obvious. And he brought up to me that, uh, you know, he 
Remember those Raider years? He was a great Oakland Raiders fan. He had season tickets, we went to all the games. It was great. And uh, during the heydays, well, they started in 60 and 70, it merged and became uh, the NFL. But George Blanda did a series where he came in and saved a bunch of games. And he said to me, you know, I've been thinking. You know, but then the Raiders did a downfall. They went downhill, they moved <laughs> to LA, they came back. That's right. And there were a lot of letdowns being a Raiders fan growing up. <laughs> <laughs> let down after let down after let down. And he said, you know, why don't we have some of the Raiders be my pallbearers? And I go, damn. Raiders be your pallbearers. Why do you want that? And he goes, so they can let me down one last time. <laughs> okay. So. So, uh, you know. I asked him also at the same meeting, Dad, what was your greatest accomplishment? And no holes barred was Melpitas. He felt that he helped create a model for the world, the whole world to come and see. And they did. They came from Japan, they came from England, France, uh, Russia, you know all over the world, Southeast Asia, Korea, to see the model city of Melpitas and of Sunny Hills. And they would come and visit and go to, uh, to the neighborhood homes. Uh, it was quite inspiring uh, to see them come, not just to see the sewer lines, the parks, you know, the streets, the lights, and all that was done, but to see and feel all the different races and all the different people and how they all came together and formed a community, you know, and worked together and moved forward. You know, people used to say that, oh, high fences make good neighbors. Mm -hmm. He didn't believe that. He believed mowing your neighbor's lawn made good friends. Mm -hmm. That's right. yeah. When asked, why was he always crossing the color line? He had a simple answer. Someone has to be first. <laughs> it was just so simple. He felt it doesn't really matter who you are, where you came from. What really matters is how you live your life and what you do every day with it. That's the judge of who you are, not your color, not your country, not where you're from, not what language you speak, but what you do. He taught me a simple technique. I never saw him get angry. You know, I never saw him and my mom, Clara, you know, have an argument. You know, uh, and I go, Dad, how can you do this? All these challenges and everything coming up before you, you know? He goes, it's real simple. When you go to breathe, you breathe in, and you, you have that gap of time before you breathe out. You have choices that you can make, choices in the way you can respond to the situation, choices um, what you can be or what you can show. So it wasn't hold your breath for 10 seconds. It was just breathe in and have that gap and move on. They told me I had three minutes. Okay, yeah. And the mayor is shaking his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I thought, okay, Robert Kennedy, Walter Ruther, Martin King, Sputnik, uh, Khrushchev, the Black Panther Party, uh, the KKK, Chief James Murray, Dick DeLong, Sunny Hills Methodist Church, Willie Mays, and Chubby Checker. 
I have stories that I could tell you about all those things that no one else really knows. And so I chose one, you know, and that was the cruise trip because uh, that was so hush hush, no photos were allowed. But what happened in uh, 1959, I think was the year, there was a kitchen cabinet, a uh, Russian United States exchange. Uh, you know, homes uh, showing for goodwill, they open displays in each country. Why, uh, Russia did it in the United States in 1958, the United States did it in uh, Moscow in 1959. And what happened uh, is that uh, Nixon was over touring, uh, prom promoting it, and uh, Khrushchev was there, and he was kind of upset though with uh, the United States because the Senate had passed a resolution, you know, saying that uh, we had to pray for Russia to be able to allow its citizens to migrate, okay, or to immigrate. And uh, Nixon brought up to Khrushchev that, hey, how is it any different what we do in our country than you not allowing blacks in your country to move wherever they want it? Okay, so anyway, you can Google it and go on uh, the Nixon Khrushchev Kitchen debate, and it got all focused around housing. The whole debate was on housing. You know, what was affordable, what was the quality of homes, and, and what? My, uh, it was broadcast on the three channels then, and my dad saw that, you know, that Russia thought that the United States had no place where people lived together. He invited Akita Khrushchev to come to Melpitas, to come to our house. And he did. <laughs> he did. He did. He came out. He toured the floor, but he did. I, you know, you're a million people here. I, got in, I get in trouble constantly if I go ask a local elected official that can come talk because I didn't follow procedure, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> They're laughing over there. They know I'm right. Here, he invites, during the Cold War, you know, a communist, you know, president to come to Melchizedek in our home. They toured the Ford plant. They toured my home. I was nine years old. And Melchizedek Minuteman, he talked about the Minuteman. Well, I learned from my dad what a Minuteman was. And they had five houses they were going to go see. And so I had gotten my bike ready by blowing up balloons. You know, you don't blow them away, you just blow them a little bit. And then you wrap them around the fender guard, you know, that goes to the axle from the fender. And what happens, it makes a sound. So after visiting my house and next door neighbors, uh, he told me, go down to the dumb bars and let them know that, hey, uh, you know, the Russian delegation is coming. So I hop on my bike, I'm pedaling, going down the street, boop, 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 not quite a Harley, but still good, yelling, Tarns, Tarns, the Russians are coming, the Russians are coming. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting all kind of signs that I've gone over my three minutes. So I will just say one last thing in closing. My dad would challenge each and every one of you to be the change you want to see happen. Oh, that's right. He was, he did, he went from picking cotton to picking presidents. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, I have the great pleasure and privilege to talk to Mr. Ross Jr. over the phone. And really, I got a lot of a lot of great ideas about uh, our former mayor. So, this afternoon, give yourself a chance. Uh, they will be here, you know. Talk to them and ask.